Okay guys, so I went ahead and did my brows already. If you are new here, you wouldn't know, but uh, I normally do my brow before starting my makeup because I want to save time. It takes me a long time to do my eyebrows. So, but nevertheless, I have an eyebrow routine on here. I will link it up for you guys. If you want to see how I do my brows, nothing really has changed. The only thing that has changed, and once I changed it, I updated you guys is um the pomade that I use for my brows now. But my technique is pretty much still the same. How is everyone doing during this um season, this pand pandemic? Ooh, let me know. Yo, I gotta be careful before I cut somebody out. Doing this on um, quarantine. Corona stuff that is going on. I hope you are all staying safe. And I'm just using the remaining product from uh, cleaning up my brows to put on my eyelid. I do not use shadow eyeshadow base, a special eyeshadow base to put on my lid. I just use the concealer. Or foundation that I use to clean up my brows okay my face is already moist once I wash my face I moisturize it and I'll be using this primer from Lancome now let me tell you something if you do not have the Sephora app be sure to um download it and check on this for always well not always but they have these special seals every now and then take advantage of it because on this primer this line cone primer they had it going for 50 percent off i think two weeks ago and girl i was hype it feels so good oh my god i went ahead and grabbed me a bottle okay and like they, they have they have it it's still going on so every day is different product that they have 50 percent off and they be having some good deals got my primer in there i let it set for a little bit i'm gonna go in with my laura mercier translucent setting powder on uh, my most oily spots and uh the good thing with this powder is that it does not alter your foundation because it, it goes right into your skin so it's almost like you put nothing there but it kind of helps keep you matte so these are the places that i'm putting it are the places i get oily the most so like for an everyday foundation for me i do not do eyeshadow for the most part so now that this is set i'm gonna go in with my foundation and the foundation i'm using is the el maquillage foundation in the shade 230 i did a review on this foundation already and i stand by it it has not given it has not been giving my skin any trouble so far so i'm gonna continue using it and i'll just pull i'll first put two pumps down here but as you know me personally every day or full glam i like my foundation full coverage okay that's just me do what you're comfortable with and don't let nobody tell you otherwise i do not let anybody bother me i'm comfortable walking out even though we can't even be going out right now but I'm comfortable working outdoors with a full face. When I mean full face, full coverage foundation on a day-to-day -day base. If you're comfortable with that, do that, okay? Okay. Your definition of an everyday foundation might not be mine or somebody else's. Always keep that in mind. But what I'm doing here is showing you how I do my foundation on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you like, 
it you can use it you can tweak from it and add to your routine that's it that's the next always like don't forget to bring your foundation down to your jawline make sure you're always bringing it down here i'm using the morphe m6 brush i will also spray the brush i'm gonna go ahead and start blending and as you can see when i'm blending i push my product in I do not drag it on my face I believe I said this already for you to get the most coverage out of your foundation push your product in instead of dragging it dragging it you would just be taking away pushing it in you get in a coverage that you deserve okay for the most part I don't color correct I know my skin has problems I don't call it correct, but when I do, I always use a darker product. I do not use orange for sure to color correct. Now for my forehead, it's okay for me to drag it because I do not want the product to be super cakey or full on there. So dragging it is not a problem. Down to the neck. now don't get tired blending okay make sure you're blending so that it can look as flawless as possible and it looks more like it's coming from your skin or at least it's your skin instead of just looking like you slap something on and let it sit down on your skin kind of push it into your skin now if you do not have a beauty blender sponge you can continue with your brush but if you do have a sponge this is my real technique sponge it's already damped in water and i'm gonna use this sponge again and just go over it and push everything in now, for my concealer i'm gonna be going in with two i'm gonna be going in with these two concealer the first one is the um Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and I'll also be going in with the Sephora Brighten Future Concealer. This one is more of a skin like concealer so what I'll do with this is put that right here And then I'll go in with the Too Faced Concealer. This is a highlighted shade, so it's more lighter. And I'll put that right in. And with this concealer, less is more, it's super full coverage. Now I'm gonna let my concealer sit. Why that sit? I will be um, putting my lashes on glue to also let that sit. So if you let your concealer sit for a bit, it gets more tacky, tacky. It gives you more coverage. That's the word I'm looking for. That's the word I'm looking for. And these lashes I'm using, these lashes are beautiful. Inexpensive mink lashes. I got them from Amazon. I will leave their link below. And you know what? This quarantine time, this is the time. This is an opportunity to perfect your craft. If you already know how to do makeup, it's time to perfect it. Don't sit around. It's time to do some mental health cleansing. Take care of yourself. It's time to just recap sit down and reflect on life do not forget okay guys i understand there's um nothing to do with just home 
but remember to continue exercising don't let yourself go i mean if you're like me and you weren't going to be ready for summer this is a time to actually catch up with uh, the rest of the world okay home workouts are bomb let me tell you okay i'm more of a home workout type than gym how you know that i had a gym membership again last year i canceled it because i like to do stuff from the comfort of my home and plus the babies wouldn't with my kids i'm not taking them out to the gym the gym daycare i tried a few times but um i wasn't comfortable with it but then again like i said home workout is very very effective because i do home workout and let me keep my own hair i be looking bomb bomb okay so don't sleep on it Yeah, keep breaking, please. Oh, why? Look at you. Hi. Yeah. Hiccup? Sorry. So now, hiccup are the thing. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> Bye, buddy. He's gonna cry. I'll be baking with the Anastasia powder and this is in the shade banana this powder is beautiful I know there's mixed review about it but I love it all right it's nice and smooth and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put it to the places I I'm gonna put it to the places I highlighted basically and set it. I have a day night in a minute in the living with my husband, so I got a snatch. All the kids are tucked in bed. Let me tell you, it took me forever to finally sit here and film this video. I mean, if you saw previously, I was talking. It just everybody being home together is beautiful, but it takes away 
from creating. But I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep everything off. Okay, so once I put everything on, sweep it up, I go back in with my Moira Bazet screen. I use this water a lot. And then just spray my face to make sure all the powder and everything just melts into my skin. Okay, now while we let that sit, I'm going to use this black eyeliner and just do my waterline. Baby girl, let's highlight. Now we're gonna do the lip. I'm kind of in between. I don't know what I wanna do. I wanna do a red lip, and at the same time, I wanna do nude. So it's like, I don't know. But I'll figure one out in a second. I'm gonna be lining my lips with um, the MAC Night Mask. So I'm going in with my Spongebob black lipstick liquid liner one thing is like as soon as I find myself doing a bold lipstick I think ombre is and plus is appropriate for this look because I do not have on shadow and now I will be adding the red Okay, you guys this brings us to the end of the video i am in love i love how this look turned out simple but still glammed obviously i did my hair off camera but uh, if you're watching till this like to this minute and you're not yet subscribed come on stop playing with a sister i know there's something about me that you like this so you're still watching and i like you too okay let's get to know each other and when you subscribe hit the notification bell so you will never miss an upload from me share this video did i say give it a thumbs up comment down below tell me what you like about this entire look and um share it to your auntie your uncle your sister your neighbor we all need to glam let's stay beautiful and currency i mean i have a date night in the living room i'm getting late so i gotta go i will catch you later bye